yeah, man, Langus really did a number on Fenrir, bro. Like, that was, that's, that's not even cool. Like, he really him full of holes. Alright, what well, we got this episode? My gosh, Gordon is so weird. He has like some weird crap, like some voodoo dolls. Or something. He has voodoo dolls. Voodoo dolls. Kidnap my sister and try to make us slaves and whatnot. Yeah, that's that's actually really aggravating. Oh boy, I'm sure they're like about to turn this thing into a super soldier. Dang. Is he German? Oh. Oh wow. That's helpful, but I don't see that being very good in the long term with her. Like, she just can't make another one. Heck no. Nah. Holy crap. Oh! 
The opening was way better. A lot more impactful. But what do you do about that? Their magic isn't good enough to fight that off, so what do they do? And then even if they get past that thing, they're gonna waste most of their magic energy on that thing when well, they still got those three to worry about. What? What, what is this? What is this? What's going on? What's going on here? Uh, what? Yo, who is this nigga, son? So he maybe he's the ghost that they were talking about. And he's the one who's making the house move around with his magic or something like that. Because he's up... Asking what's going on, like he's just been living in there. Maybe he was in, hiding around in the secret room because he they did show that. That's probably what it is. Because Vanessa and Charmy were talking about a ghost wandering around in the house. And they saw something and stuff like that. So maybe they saw him getting up and like going to the bathroom or something like that. Maybe that's why the rooms keep moving around. Because he's not supposed to be getting up. And he has to shift the house around with his magic. Because he's... Lazy, maybe? I, I, don't have, I have no idea. I'm just making guesses for right now. But, he looks cool. He reminds me of uh, Bakura from Yu-Gi-Oh. That's pretty much what he looks like right now here. And he's, he talks really, really slow. Like the wheelchair, wheelchair kid from Malcolm in the Middle. Yikes. But, uh, this episode was okay. I'm not going to say I loved it. It was kind of boring. It's just one of those things that just kind of helped progress a different portion of the story. So hopefully next week's episode is a little bit better. Um, this kept me interested. I was interested. I was still here for it. But I mean, as far as like me making side commentary and stuff like that, this is really one of those things where you really just kind of had to like listen to what was going on and read what they were talking about. Because otherwise you just kind of miss stuff. But even then, I mean, did you really miss much of anything? They, I, I kind of want to get back to the real nice part. So I'm sure this is going to be going on for like the next like two, three episodes before they move on to the Royal Knight stuff. Because I know they're not going to do no thing where they're going to like switch back and forth or whatever. But I mean, I mean, we'll see. I, I personally don't have that faith in it. But either way it goes, I'm still loving this series. I'm still loving this show. I can't wait for it to keep going and, you know, keep blowing my mind and keep getting better and stuff like that. We got to we got to see a little bit of uh, Gordon's magic finally instead of him just being a little creepo in the corner whispering to people sweet nothings in their ears and things. Poison magic. That makes so much sense for him. It really does. But it does make it kind of hard for him to just use that kind of magic on regular people without, like, it being lethal. So... That's that's low key unfortunate. I had a midnight sun paying the less of the black bulls a visit. The fodder black bulls a visit. This, except for except for Gosh. Gosh is kind of a vet. He he a VIP. So he cool. So it's up to these two and whoever this guy is to hopefully defeat the eye of the midnight sun. That's at their doorstep. So there's that. Anyway, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves as I have enjoyed myself making this. And as always, I will be here telling it like it is.